Hello everyone and welcome to a review and demonstration of the Shark Powered Liftaway True Pet Upright Vacuum Cleaner. Now I unboxed this on my channel quite a few months ago and I've been using it quite a lot and I really like this vacuum. In fact, I recommended it on the unboxing which is something I never normally do. So I'm going to give it the full tests today. I'm going to test it on hard floors, on carpets see how easy it is to use the lift away feature, how convenient it is to use on stairs and all around my home. So before I start the demonstrations I'll take you on a quick tour of the machine and show you everything that you get in the box. Apart from the main cleaner itself you also get Shark's exclusive dust away attachment which comes complete with a washable microfiber pad. Now this is designed to clean hard floors better. It has a large suction channel at the front to deal with larger debris and the microfiber pad at the back is supposed to dust and clean your floor. Obviously I'll be testing that fully during the course of this demonstration. Two tools live on board. This is your two-in-one crevice and dusting tool. So you can use it like this as a crevice tool for doing your nooks and crannies, cleaning out your car in between your seats, etc. And you can use this brush attachment. You just simply squeeze this button here on the side and this nice soft flared brush comes out and that's ideal for cleaning places like your Venetian blinds, computer keyboards and little nooks and crannies, shelving, etc. This tool stores on board alongside this two-in-one upholstery tool. So you have quite a nice dense but fairly soft brush you can use on lampshades and your upholstery. But you can also take off the brush and as you can see I've been using it, it's got some bits stuck to it. These red litter pickers are designed to deal with pet hair and more difficult clinging litter. So that's ideal for doing your upholstery, you can do your curtains and all sorts of other areas with that tool. Being the true pet model, you also get this turbo brush, which has a revolving brush to deal with more difficult to pick up items such as pet hair. It's also got two litter pickers either side as well. The only difference between this true pet model and the other Shark powered lift away, apart from the color, the other powered lift away doesn't include this pet brush. You can buy it as an optional extra. This is the power head of the Shark Power to Lift Away. It incorporates edge cleaning on one side only. Also ultra bright LED headlights that really do illuminate the area that you're cleaning. These headlights are especially useful when used in lift away mode so you can see under your beds and under your furniture. I'll be showing you how bright that light is during the course of the demo. It's got an indicator light that shows green when the brush is operating. Should the brush become obstructed if you accidentally pick up a sock you didn't notice under the bed, the brush roll will cut out and this light will turn red. You then need to remove the obstruction and you can switch the machine on and off again to reset it. The brush roll on this shark is very effective and it's designed to sweep all the debris into the central part of the nozzle where you've got the main suction channel. It really does deal with pet hairs very effectively as well as bringing up the pile of your carpet. Obviously I'll be showing you all that in the demo. If you need access to the brush roll, if you need to clean it or you suspect you've got a blockage, you can just undo these three screw tops with a coin and you have better access into the brush roll and the air path. Like most vacuum cleaners on the market today, the Shark Powered Lift Away is a bagless machine. To remove the dust cup, you simply squeeze these two catches either side of the built-in carry handle, take it to your bin and press this grey button at the bottom and the flap opens and the dirt should fall out. If any dirt gets caught in this bagless unit, you can also open the top and ensure that you get all the dirt out. It has a number of filters including a final HEPA filter which needs to be washed at least once a year and then two further filters which need more regular maintenance. You get an easy to clean sponge filter and then a felt filter underneath. Always keep your filters clean. Shark saying every three months but I would say possibly every month depending on how often you use your machine. The cleaner you keep the filters, the better your machine will operate. At the back of the cleaner is where your onboard tools are stored, your upholstery brush and your two-in-one crevice tool. 
This vacuum cleaner has a fairly generous 8 meter cable with cord hooks on the top and the bottom. The bottom hook is fixed and the top hook swivels so you can release all the cord in one go. This shark vacuum has a very comfortable looped handle with a textured panel at the top and on the underside so it's very comfortable to hold in use. At the front of the handle there's a thumb operated switch that enables you to change the machine from carpet to hard floor mode. And just under that you've got a suction control that works in upright and powered lift away mode. OK, starting with the carpet cleaning demonstration, I've put down on this carpet a load of mess actually taken from another shark vacuum cleaner that I took on holiday with me. I was at a holiday cottage by the sea and there was an awful lot of sand in those carpets which the other shark I used removed. So there's quite a lot of sand in here. I've also thrown on some flour, some rolled oats, there's also dog hair and all sorts of other bits and pieces mixed in. So I'm going to pass the shark forward and back through the middle of this mess and we'll see how well it performs. I'll make sure that the brush bar is turned on. So here we go. <laughs> So there you go, not a complete clean sweep, it's fairly impressive, but on those forward and backward initial passes it hasn't cleaned absolutely everything, but there is an awful lot of mess down here. Let's go over it a couple more times. <laughs> more passes it seems to have removed most of the dirt it's also brought the pile up it's certainly a bit more springier than it was a moment ago I'm not going to step either side of this nice clean path but what I will do before we go into the kitchen and test out sharks dust away head just going to clean up the rest of this mess <laughs> take my shark into the kitchen to tackle the mess on my kitchen floor I just need to clean under this chair oh dear well obviously with most upright vacuums this is as far as I will be able to clean under my chair or my beds or my sofa but this is no ordinary vacuum cleaner because at the touch of the lift away button I can now lift away the suction unit so now I've got a lightweight portable unit and now I can take the power of the brush roll and the suction right under the chair because the brush roll still rotates even when it's not connected to the machine <laughs> And as you can see, the headlights really do illuminate the whole area right to the back of the wall so I can see all those dust bunnies that are lurking under my furniture.
I'm still in lift away mode, but this time I've attached Shark's exclusive dust away head to the end of the wand. Now on this floor I've put down some rolled oats to represent large particles and some flour to represent smaller particles and hopefully the combined action of the microfiber pad that is washable, you can wash that in the machine, and the suction channel at the front should deal with both large and small debris. Many vacuums I've tested snow plow the rolled oats into a line and they won't pick it up first time. I'm hoping that this shark will pick everything up in one forward and one backward pass. Okay, let's see how well it does. Well, I have to say, obviously as I lift the nozzle, it's just off camera, some of the oats have stuck to the underside of the microfiber pad, but there is an awful lot of mess. But it did not snow plow thanks to the suction channel at the front. I'm going to do another section of this floor and I'll try and get a close up of the front of the nozzle so you can see how it actually picks up the larger particles without pushing them in front of the nozzle. Before I finish the hard floor demonstration, I thought it would be a good idea to see how well the shark copes with cleaning hard floors in upright mode with the brush roll turned off. Well, obviously it hasn't done as well as the dedicated hard floor dust away attachment. It's not made a complete clean sweep of the floor, but also it's snow ploughed a lot of the debris to the front of the nozzle. As you can see here, the shark powered lift away has pushed most of the larger debris to the front of the cleaner. So I'll tackle the rest of this using the dust away attachment. Cleaning stairs of the shark powered liftaway is very easy thanks to the lightweight removable suction unit. Now with this model you've got three options when you clean your stairs. You can either use the upholstery tool and then of course follow up with a crevice tool to do around the sides. Or because this is the pet version you can attach the turbo brush which will help bring up the pile and maybe give you a slightly deeper clean than the suction only nozzle. But if you want to give your stairs the sort of clean they've probably never had, you can actually attach the main power unit directly to the end of the handle. And now you hold in your hand a very, very effective cleaner for your stairs. And of course, after cleaning the main area of the stairs, you can do all the corners using the crevice tool. To test the pet hair removal of the shark powered lift away using the turbo pet tool I've just been grooming my dog Daisy on the chair. Normally of course I don't groom her on the chair but Daisy has provided me with quite a lot of her lovely black hair in order for me to try out this turbo nozzle. So Daisy are you going to pop down and I can show the viewers how this nozzle performs picking up all your hair. Daisy go down. Typical Dashun, she won't do as she's told, so I'll remove her 
and then hopefully remove all her hairs. Okay, with Daisy safely in the kitchen, let's tackle all this pet hair. Well, the Pet Hair Turbo Brush has done a good job of removing every trace of Daisy from this chair. But what I suspect will have happened, and I'm right, quite a lot of Daisy's hair has remained wrapped around the brush. This is a common problem with brushes of this type. It still removed a great deal of the Pet Hair into the canister, but some has been left. So you need to remove that. You can actually take this nozzle apart quite easily without any tools and now we have greater access to the brush roll and to the belt where a lot of the hair is wrapped around here so I just need to periodically remove that hair in order to keep this head working effectively obviously that was a lot of hair for it to cope with in one go so when you're clearing up normal dog hair hopefully you're not going to get such a result as this but eventually in time you will need to clean the brush but as you can see it's easy enough to do. Well that's just about the end of my review and demonstration of the Shark Powered Lift Away True Pet. Would I recommend it? Yes 100% I don't hesitate in recommending this vacuum cleaner. It is fantastic, it does a very good job on my carpets and floors. The lift away feature is fantastic, it's ideal for cleaning your stairs and also because of the powered lift away I know that all my nooks and crannies underneath my beds, underneath my furniture is as clean as the main areas of carpet because it doesn't compromise on the performance. You just lift away the suction unit and you take that power right under your furniture. The LED headlights light the way as well so you can see every nook and cranny that you're cleaning. So yes, 100% it's five star recommendation from me. You can buy these direct from Shark. If they're out of stock of this particular Bordeaux colour, I believe they now have it in a red colour but it should be identical. You can also get this in a blue colour without the pet brush and currently at the time of making this demo it's on offer at around £200 so I would get one. If you want to see one in a shop, Curry's do most of the shark vacuums and often they'll have a store demonstrator so you can try one out for yourself before you decide to buy one but I thoroughly recommend this vacuum. I'd like to point out that I paid for this with my own money. I don't work for shark and I don't get any money from shark for endorsing this product I'm giving you my honest opinion of this machine. It's great in my house, it might be different in your home, but I think most people that buy this machine are happy with it. So thanks for watching, if you'd like to check out my other reviews please do so. Please thumb up this video and if you have any questions about this vacuum cleaner please ask in the comments section below. So until the next time, I'll see you very soon and it's bye for now.